All right, what's going on? It's Toasty here, and I'm here to video about a certain topic. Now, before I get into the topic, it is I don't do politics and stuff like that, so don't worry about that. You don't see that here. But this is a very serious topic because, um, it, before I get into it, uh, my mum used to say. If somebody's took a bite out the apple, don't look around it. Look who took the bite. And that's what I've done. I've basically, like, you know, looked around the situation and first. Because everybody's making videos on, you know, going to watch it and all this kind. I'm like, stop simping. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So... Um, I took the matters and basically see who actually took the bite and waited and before making this video. I just wanted to make sure of that out first. Now, if you don't know what I'm on about by now, basically, um, the actor who's been Melissa, who's been in this multiple screen movies, it is. It's been fired. It's been fired. Uh, it is. And um, they said they're not going to be watching the movie. Now, to me, this was before I didn't know the information. I'm like, why? Like, it makes no sense. If you were a screen franchise, screen icon, you will watch the movie still. It's just the actor. And this is when I saw the bite on who took the bite and stuff it is. So, it turns out that she's been posting stuff on Instagram and uh, Twitter, I think it is, as well. Uh, about the war going on with Israel and, and all this kind. And I'm not going to get into that, but you'll know what I'm talking about. And... Apparently, there's been there's nothing wrong what she said. There's literally nothing wrong what she said because she is about freedom of speech and freedom, how people and you know you get the drift. I, like I said, I'm not getting into that. But what I'm getting into this video about is the situation. Basically, she's being fired over that. And there was nothing what she said was wrong. And other people, like Jenna and everything, have been putting posts out about the war itself, the situation itself, you know. And this has been outraged. It has been outraged, to say the least. It has. So, starting from scratch here... Um, basically, it came out and there was a shitstorm. There was a absolute shitstorm before any, any. And that's why I acted saying is like, hey, if she's just going to get sacked, maybe it's on her. She's done something wrong. You know, it's perfectly natural, you know, because if it's Hollywood or anything like that, why would they drop actors? Well, I've just been figuring out and I took another bite of the apple at the other side and I want to get deep into this uh, as well because this is pathetic. I think this is outrageous and I think it's funny. I start laughing because people have defended Hollywood. People have defended these companies for years, you know, for years. And it's and it's just finally come out that's saying the freedom of speech and stuff like that. You know, hold on, you can't say that. Well, if it's about the war, people is dying, every you know, and they're trying to survive. And I think they have a right to support them to recover, get well, get safe. You know. And I think it's a good example for actors to do that because it shows another side instead of all the glamour and showbiz, you get the drift, you know. 
it is. But, you know, with her being fired, it is, uh, it kind of has put some really bad backlash. So, Spyglass, if you don't know Spyglass is basically part of a company, um, have basically put a statement out there and it's ridiculous. Now, I'm going to read this out to you. It was on Twitter. My friend, I'd got my friend to go on Twitter to do some deep searching before even making this video as well. So that's why I didn't make the video immediately yesterday and brought it out and stuff because I wanted to see why was a bite out that apple. So you don't understand why the metaphor of the apple is coming into this video a lot. You know, because that's the way I speak if you get my drift, you know, as well. So, basically they've said this. This is the, this is the Twitter of a statement of why they fired Melissa. And I laughed. We have zero tolerance for, I can't say that word, <laughs> or in terms of hate of any form. Hate? She didn't hate. She didn't hate. <laughs> Including false references of genocide, cleansing, holocaust, dis... <laughs> It crosses the line of hate speech. I'm not going to read it all out, but you'll get the drift and you've probably seen the tweet yourself. I hope you fucking responded to that shit as well. So they're basically saying it's a hate speech. Where? My, 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 my thing is, now I'm going to take a big fucking bite of this. Where? Where did she hate? There's a lot of nasty artistic going on here. 110%. 110% too. Where? Where was the hate speech? Where? I don't see how she hated on the situation. So, all this came out. That was their statement about Melissa. So obviously, it was one of the stupidest, dumbest things. I says, oh shit, here's a golden shovel. Shovel that grave because they got to go in deep. It's come out today, now, just today, Jenna is not going to be in Scream 7 too. No shit. No shit, she ain't gonna be in too. But you know what they've said? You know what they've actually said? And I'll read this out. Jenna Otera is not going to be in Scream 7 because she's scheduled for filming Wednesday Season 2. What a load of fucking crap. <laughs> that is so BS. Jenna has done multiple things all at once. As I recall, she's been in movies that you wouldn't even think of. I watched her in a movie one time and, and I didn't know she was in it. I didn't know she was in it. She's literally everywhere. She's literally everywhere. I think she can basically cope with the situation it is. <laughs> you know... I'm pretty sure she's pretty adult enough for that situation, you know. It's not. They just basically try to cover their tracks. They ain't too deep. I hate to tell you all this, that Scream is dead. Ghostface is dead. 110%. I didn't like the new movie. I didn't like it. I didn't, I didn't like it one bit. I didn't like it. I liked the, the first one, the second one was okay. You know, but Ghostface is dead. 
110%. Spyglass and them, they have killed Ghostface and Scream the movie. Uh, if you go ahead and make this movie... It's telling Hollywood all the examples. It's telling all the movie directors and everything that their movies is going to be backlash too. You have to stand down. They either have to going to stand down or basically a big apologize to Melissa and hire the staff back. But that's highly likely because it's Hollywood and everything like that. You know, they don't really go back on the word. You know what I'm saying? So, but I, me, to me, I'm going to say this straight out of the bed. I think they fired her. This is all bullshit. This is all bullshit with the war and everything. I think they fired her because of fucking Carpenter. Fucking Carpenter, if I'm saying her fucking name right. Since she came out saying she wasn't paid enough and all this kind, I saw her from a different angle. I loved her in the Scream movies, but when they said, huh, I'm not going to be in it because I wasn't paid enough. Really? You were paid thousands. You were paid thousands. Literally thousands for doing no screen movies. You tell me it wasn't enough? I smell greed. So I think Hollywood has actually basically fired Melissa, it is, so they can pay Jenna and also Carpenter the money that it, where it is. And that's what they're going to do. I think they're going to go ahead and put motherfucking Carpenter in this and it's going to piss me the fuck off. It's going to piss everybody off. It is. You know. And even if they say no. You know. Carpenter. Like. If I'm saying her name right. You'll know who I'm talking about. You know. She wanted more money. Like. The money she got from those moves. I smell greed. I smell greed on that one. But I think. That's why they really have fired Melissa. I think it has nothing to do with the war. I think this is just a cover-up excuse. Hate speech and all genocide and all this. You know, if you look at Melissa, what she's put. Even everybody's done a background check. They've done background checks on them. <laughs> on her tweets, everything to the common ground up. There's not one bit of hate. All it is is about supporting the people. It is like what anybody else would do. And this is why they get in the backlash. Anybody would say the same thing what she's done. What she said. Because it's about supporting. It's about supporting, you know, what's going on with the fucking world. With the world today. And it makes me sick because now this is another side of things. So I'm telling you this right now. It isn't just Scream 7 that's going to be affected. No, 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 no. Because now they're going to look at everything. All the actors. We're going to look at all the actors, the directors. A whole different way on how they're going to sell out. That's why I know it's a different topic, but... Art the Clown, you know, Terrifier Free, when they didn't want to back him up about doing the movie and he wanted to do his own thing. Respect. That's why I respect Art the Clown. Terrifier. That's why I respect the horror Gerard because not selling out. Not selling out. Where if you look at Carpenter. I call a fucking carpenter. I don't know. If you know her real name, put down in the comments below. Like so. Enlighten me. Enlighten me. But I might not give a fuck. Because basically the fact is, the money she got and everything, she wanted more money to be in these, the, the, the previous screen movies. Come on now. Come on. This is ridiculous. 
Melissa can find a better role in a better movie. She's a wonderful actress and I think she'll be great in another horror movie, in another franchise. I think they'll be fucking hire her somewhere else. They need to do that, you know. But just before in this video today, Jenna, Jenna wants to end the contract for Scream 7. She doesn't want to do the movie. She doesn't want to do the movie itself. It's come out on that too. So it's telling you why Hollywood and Spyglass and shit have lied because they said, oh, it's because Jenna is doing Wednesday season two, you know, and it ain't because Jenna's basically said she just wants out. She wants out of this movie. It is. And I don't blame Jenna for that. Huge respect for Jenna for that because... People thought Jenna was going to be a sellout the way Wednesday went and everything like so. And, you know, and honestly, Jenna is a good actress too. I think they both deserve to be in a, another horror movie, another franchise that's so good. That's what i got to say about it, guys. I know this might not be the response that you're thinking of. But I don't do politics, I do or anything, but I do know what's right and wrong. This is wrong. They literally, Melissa did nothing wrong. I hope they'll have a better role and Melissa will find somewhere else to work. We've seen what she can do and they can even do a movie. They sell their own movie, but I think they'll join another franchise, another slasher franchise. I have a few up my sleeve that possibly they can do. If they bought a Jason movie back, she would fit really perfect into that. You know, like situation like that. Maybe Michael Myers, you know, because the rebooting and episodes and everything like that. She can be in that. You see, there's opportunities and they will take her. They will take her, it is. The problem is it's Hollywood and these everything because when you get fired in situations like that and that, uh, it, it makes an impact in your job as a actor and everything and that. Uh, I know that and I'm not even an actor myself because, you know, we've seen it. We've seen it, how things get exposed and everything it is, you know. But this is probably the worst scenario of anybody because... You would think they've done something wrong and they're going to get exposed for it. And they haven't. And that's what's really making me angry because if you support something that's going on in the world to make it a better place, that's what people need to hear. Not this toxic shit and going online and telling people stuff dark stuff because you don't know what that person's been through right so they want actors like this to basically speak out on media and people will follow them and for a good cause because they know they're a good cause and that's what melissa did all she did was this speech about the war going on the, the war going on with Israel and, sh and stuff. Like I said, I don't know all about that myself because I don't take a lot of notice. And I don't mean be offensive by that. It's just, uh, it's, it's, I don't understand. I don't understand. But what I do understand, well, what's right and wrong when you fire someone that basically haven't done shit. Thumbs up on that one. <laughs> Thumbs up on that one, eh? Exactly. So, Jenna is going to be fine. She doesn't need Scream 7. She can get another role like that. Same as Melissa. She can, she, she'll get another role somewhere else. She doesn't need Scream 7. This is what I said. Scream should have ended at four. 
where the, the I know they weren't as great when they got on, but holy shit, it's been going on for so long now. For so long now. And I wanted to make this video just to basically put my side of the story of what I know. Okay? I'm only a person that makes videos, game with big gaming backgrounds, and just a speaking out about what's right and wrong and if I am wrong about it I own up to it and this is what these people didn't didn't do they didn't do it they not own up to it they just basically saying she's doing hate speech we don't tolerate that where I've seen worse uh, from random people I've seen worse uh, from other celebrities and get away with it they, they've gotten away with it. They've said a lot of bullshit celebrities in the past. And they have gotten away with it. And I think this is what the backlash is. This is what the backlash is all together. And you know what? They deserve it. And you know what? I'm glad Scream is getting put to bed. If that movie gets released, it's going to get shit on worse and backlashed. Too much now. Too much. And if you go to see this movie after all this and everything, you're against the odds of, how can I explain it? A bad influence of why Hollywood is today. Stay safe, everybody.